Hello, 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 and welcome back, my fearless and flawless friends. Today we are going to be doing this wonderful and beautiful butterfly Halloween look. Let's go ahead and get started. All right, let's jump in here and see what I need. Let's go in with some white liner to get this started. All right, the look I was going for, it had two sides. I think I'm just gonna do one. So, all right, and ignore my eyes. One, they've been watering all day. Two, I have already been staring at a ring light for a while. Three, I just washed my eye makeup off. Um, now, let's see, do I want to go this side or do I want to go this side? Let's go. Oh, I am so not that talented on my, <laughs> my left side here. Let's see. Um, we're going to do it anyway. So we're going to go very lightly. Oh, no, we already broke the tip of the, the pencil. I think that's what we're gonna do. I think we're gonna stick with it. Maybe. All right, then we're gonna go in. I'm not gonna quite go in with a gel liner yet, so I'm gonna go in with a black pencil, black eyeliner pencil, and just go right on top of that and create more of a point. So I want the top and the bottom to have more of a point. Okay. Now this is kind of where we're going to get creative. We are going to just add in some We're going to add in some color. We're going to make that line a little thicker though, I think. So I'm going to go off camera, add this a little thicker, and then we'll come back and then decide on what colors we're going to do this. All right. So we went in a little thicker. I made a little bit more of a point at the top and at the bottom. And here's my inspiration are the colors of this flower wreath. So we have some yellows, some oranges, and some dusty rose pinks. So I think we're gonna go in with some yellow first, and then we're just going to gradually blend and build up. And this, this is kind of where you just play and you blend and there's really no mistake here. You just, you just do whatever you want. So, um, I'm going to grab the courageous palette here. It has this unbreakable color, which is a yellow. And I'm just going to grab here and just kind of, and you can always put a primer or a white face paint. I'm sure that would make the color pop even more. Unfortunately, I, I have a primer, but unfortunately I don't have a white face paint. So we're just going to build and make this, we're just going to make it work. We're going to do the best we can here.
and I'm really not asking you to like color in the whole thing. You can, you can do that again. There is no mistakes here. This is just whatever you want to do. I'm just going to place the color where I want. And just build on that. I mean, this, this almost <laughs> without the, without the primer or the white paint underneath, it almost looks like my little jaundice. Um, but we're going to work with it. We're going to do it. And then I'm just going to meet them up right here. All right, and then I'm going to, because this flower has a little bit of that orangey, rosy color there in the center, I think I'm going to go here with Risk right there. Take that same brush. Again, it doesn't matter because we are just going to blend. And just be creative with it. Just have fun. And then the dusty rose pink there. I don't really have any dusty rose colors on that. Um, let's see here. Let me clean my brush. Maybe I'll get a different brush here. Let's see. Um, let's see, this baby got peach. I don't know if it's really a dusty rose, but perky right here. This baby got peach from ColourPop. Baby, uh, perky right there. Looks to be a little peachy, um, dusty rose color. So that's kind of, oh, that's actually a really pretty color. Let's kind of blend that in right there. I'm not really sure how well this is settling into my pores or my lines there. I'm sure it is showing every crack and every crevice that I have, like the Sahara Desert over here. All right, so we've got a little black from the liner blending in there and again my eyes are watering i don't know why there must be something in the air today and you don't really have to be neat with it again we're just blending here Okay, we're going to be really careful around that black because we don't want it to blend with this dusty rose color, this peachy rose, whatever you want to call it.
think I'm going to put some right up here to kind of shadow that point. And then down here, I apologize if you heard a belching in the background. That was my husband. <laughs> Boys. All right, now I know it's not like the best shading coloring in the world. We're gonna go in with the uh, liquid liner and then we're gonna go ahead and draw the lines. I want to blend that out a little bit more. Okay. So I'm going to take a gel liner. And go And then I'll go ahead and go off camera and make that a little thicker so that way it looks darker but more precise and then we will go ahead and draw the lines okay so the line is a little thicker now we're gonna go in here and kind of draw the lines for let's see if I can do this and it's not meant to really be perfect
All right, and again, it doesn't have to be perfect. It's just to be creative. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and thicken up these lines and we'll be right back. All right, so there's a few lines I have to clean up a little bit, but we are going to take our NYX white liquid liner with the really fine tip. Oh man, I have to sneeze. I hope I don't do this by a sneeze. And we're gonna go right down here and do a few dots up here. Oop, I just smudge it. That works too, I guess. Again, it doesn't really have to be. Ah. <laughs> when it's getting late at night and you're trying to do makeup, that just works wonders. And then we're going to go just around the outside. And do these dots as well. Well, or big chunks. I mean, whatever works for you, right? We'll clean those up. And then we're going to take some eyeliner and tight line, as long as my eyes don't water too terribly. And I'm actually going to go down here see if I can smudge that out a little bit and then put on some mascara And I'm going to look down so I don't get it on my eyelid. And then I am going to do sort of the same colors on this eye. And then we will clean up a little bit on this side and we'll be right back. All right. And there we have the other side. We just kind of combined the colors from this side and made it there. And I thought I fixed that. Did it smudge? Oh no, let's fix that. All right, there we go. And that is the look. And I will then throw that on top. And there we have it. Yay, nay. What do we think? What is the verdict?
let me know down in the comments. And again, don't forget to subscribe like always and follow along for the next video. I hope you guys have a wonderful Halloween if you celebrate. Let me know, let me know down in the comments what you or your children were for Halloween. I would love to hear all those wonderful costumes. Have a wonderful day.